Hi guys, I'm Yusuke, a karate coach here in Japan, and I'm back with the series. Do these famous martial artists know what they're talking about? My last video was on Steven Seagal, and this one is going to be on Ryoto Machida. Uh, Jesse has uploaded a great interview again with uh, Ryoto Machida, so please check that out before watching this one. And the important keyword that Ryoto Machida has mentioned in the video was Kyo. In this video, let me guide you through the principle of Kyo and Jitsu in order for you to accurately understand this idea. In the English Japanese dictionary, Kyo is referred to as three meanings. First, unpreparedness. Two, falsehood. And three, emptiness. For Jitsu, there are four meanings that are introduced. One, truth or reality. Two, sincerity, honesty. Three, content, substance and for result. And by putting these two words together, the meaning becomes truth or falsehood. Yes, if you use this word in an everyday life situation, it would mean the truth or the falsehood um, of a famous celebrity, something like that. However, when using the martial art term, it means something different. Uh, let me take you back to history, to Eastern medicine, to correctly understand this. Basically, the medicine that came from China. Within their medicine, um, this the whole system, Kyo stands for a condition where something is missing, and Jitsu stands for when something is overwhelming, it's over the necessary amount. So let's say I use an example of nutrients. If your body is lacking the nutrients, then you can be having anorexia, right? Lacking the necessary nutrients, not eating enough. Let's say um, you have enough, uh, more than enough nutrients in your body. That means you are obese, you are overweight, basically. So this, if you change the subject, um, oxygen, whatever it is, um, that would change the body condition. So now let's change that subject to a martial arts context verb. In this case, the kyojitsu, I believe the subject is something like attention. If you are lacking the attention, that means you are in the condition of kyo you are not paying attention, you are not aware of what's happening to you. A, the example that Ryoto Machida used was his maigiri, his front kick going into the opponent. The opponent was lacking the attention towards the kick, thus he described it as the condition of kyo. Now jitsu, if you have more than enough jitsu, that means you are very caught up in the moment. So basically, um, the feint that um, that Ryoto Machida was doing with his hands, because of that, the opponent was jitsu onto the hand and kyo onto the leg. I hope you can understand it um, like that. And guys, believe it or not, kyo jitsu is a very important concept that Gichin Funakoshi used in his uh, 20 uh, Nijukun, his 20 important teachings. The saying goes, it's the 14th one. Let me read it out first. Tatakai wa kyo jitsu no soujutsu ikan ni ari. Let me explain each phrase. Tatakai means a battle. So it can be a war or basically in martial art terms, uh, in modern terms, sparring or when you're fighting with somebody. Uh, Kyojitsu is the one I just mentioned. The controlling, uh, how you control the awareness being at the moment, there, and the awareness of um, emptying the awareness, the balance between those two. And Sojutsu means the control. Uh, ikan means how, and ari means the existence of. So the whole translation of this phrase would be a battle is all about how you control the existence of kyojitsu. So, you know, Gichin Funakoshi has mentioned it, so it must be a pretty important word, right? So when Ryoto Machida used the word kyo like this in the video, What's most important, speed or power for this type of knockout? Maybe the time is more important which is in karate calls kyo. Mm. Kyo means the, the dead time of your opponent. We can say that he is very accurate and he's very correct. So, hats off to Ryoto Machida for understanding Japanese. Obviously, his father's Japanese, so I'm sure he understands the phrases very accurately. So I hope you guys learned something new. Uh, if you'd like me to explain, keep on doing these series. Let me know who you want me to put in the video next. And don't forget to check out my other older videos and about Steven Seagal, if he uh, was speaking uh, Japanese or using Japanese words correctly. And I also run a online group lesson and private lesson where we can actually um, use the Japanese phrases and learn karate together. So please check that out from here and I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, check out my um, Yusuke no Okinawa series uh, season two as well. See you guys soon.